Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a quick look at and of course installing the Speedform throttle controller available for all 2008 and newer Challengers. You should be checking this out if you're looking for an extremely easy to use throttle controller that's gonna give you a better throttle response and acceleration and just overall make your driving experience a whole lot more fun. Now this particular option from Speedform here uses a very small LCD screen with three buttons, mode, minus, and plus to help you control the sensitivities and each mode individually. Before I jump into the modes, you should know that basically what this is gonna do is reduce the drive-by wire delay on your vehicle. Now the drive-by wire delay is essentially the time delay between hitting the gas pedal and your vehicle getting off the line. There's a delay in time between hitting that gas and the throttle body actually opening up, and this is gonna minimize and even in some sensitivities completely eliminate that delay. This uses three different modes for increasing throttle sensitivity and a couple of additional modes after that. P1, as you can see on the screen here, is your comfortable mode. Comfortable mode is gonna be great for a daily driver looking for a good mix of throttle response increase as well as fuel economy, kind of keeping that in mind. Best of both worlds type of situation. Hit mode again, you get P2, which is your sport mode. Great for daily drivers looking to just get a little bit more out of the vehicle, slightly increase your throttle response, get a better acceleration, and overall, really good feel of the vehicle. Hit that one more time, P3 is race mode. It's gonna make your throttle especially sensitive. P3 at level nine, all out throttle sensitivity, removing that delay altogether. Keep in mind guys, in each one of these modes, you have sensitivity levels one through nine, one being your least change and nine being the biggest change on that mode here. P3 level nine being the biggest. Hit that one more time, you have EC, which is your economy mode. This is gonna be good for guys who are taking long road trips and wanna cut down on some fuel economy. This will actually increase throttle delay just to make sure that you're not being too heavy footed on the gas to help you save some MPGs. Also levels one through nine. And then normal is gonna be your stock mode. That way you don't have to unplug it every time you wanna revert back to stock. It's worth noting here that this device here does not require any programming. It doesn't require pedal learning like some of the other options out there. So really plug and play right out of the box, which is definitely a huge bonus point. If you're not looking to have to do throttle all the way to the floor, wait 10 seconds, that whole learning process to teach the ECU, not the case. Plug it in, good to go. It uses a cord here that's similar to your iPhone cable, that lightning cable type of accessory here. So it's an easy plug and play and it goes right into your throttle pedal there. No need to pop the hood or anything like that. It also can be compounded on top of a tuner. So if you're using a uh, custom or preloaded tuner, this guy can be stacked on top of that, no problem. It won't leave any custom footprint on your ECU at all. Now, as for the price of this guy, it comes in right around 150 bucks, which in my opinion is not a very high price to pay for a huge payoff with a throttle controller. Like I said, easier to use, easier to understand, less installation time, and it's a little bit of a lower price than some of the other options out there. In my opinion, definitely the way to go. And the look of the screen here is super clean. It's less than a half inch thick, and I personally like to put it right next to the start stop button. I think it looks really clean. It doesn't leave any wires dangling or anything, and it looks like it could have come on the car from the factory. Now the install gets one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It'll take you about 30 minutes from start to finish. Like I said, no splicing, just plug and play install, and I'll show you how it's done. So let's get to it. All right, step number one, you're going under your driver's side dashboard here, locate your gas pedal, follow it all the way up to this clip here. Now this is the harness. You're basically gonna pinch and disconnect just like that. From here, you wanna take the small harness included in the kit and plug it into the harness you've just disconnected. All right, the other end is gonna go back into the factory location that we just unplugged that harness from. Just like that. All right, so now you can take the little block included in the kit and plug it into the other end. There you go. All right, next step, we're gonna feed that cable up through our trim here under our steering column. Now it's not completely required. You can just pull it straight up here and then maybe even tape it back. But if you want a clean look, what I'm gonna suggest doing is going right here to the right. This panel here pops right off. You're just gonna peel off just like that. You don't even have to pull it completely off, just enough to put a gap through it. Take that cord, stick it up through the bottom, put your hand through the top and pull it through. just like that. So now we have it coming out the top. I'm just gonna pull it so all of the excess cable comes straight up here. You also wanna make sure that none of it is dangling over the pedals, which can be pretty dangerous. All right, so we don't need a ton. We need just enough 
so we can stick the device next to our start stop button. All right, once you have that there, snap it back in place. Boom, just like that. All right, next step, I'm gonna be installing this device here right next to our start stop button. I think that gives you one of the cleaner looks inside the car here, but first, I'm gonna wipe it down with an alcohol wipe. Now these aren't included in the kit, but I definitely recommend using one. If not, soap and water will definitely do the trick. What you don't wanna use is something like a detailer, which can leave oily residue and your 3M tape here will definitely not stick. All right, so I'm peeling off the backing. Bring that wire up and connect it, just to make sure you have enough wire. Pull up a little more and stick it into place. All right, so right when this thing turns on, you'll see it's lit up in green and it's got P1.1. Now, P1 refers to the mode. And if you select this mode button, you can flip through P1, P2, P3, EC, and normal. Now, P1 refers to comfortable mode. Now, comfortable mode is gonna give you a small increase in throttle response with smooth acceleration, something that isn't super instantaneous, but still feels a little bit more peppy. Now, Dot one refers to the level of sensitivity. You can use the plus minus buttons here to flip through levels one through nine. One being the least change, nine being the biggest change. Now, if you select mode again, it'll take you to P2. P2 refers to sport mode. Now, sport mode also has levels one through nine through sensitivity, one being the least, nine being the most sensitive. And sport mode is gonna give you a little bit more of an instantaneous acceleration change and throttle response. And if you go to P3, that's gonna be race mode, which is really gonna be all out throttle response. It basically has no delay in acceleration. The second you hit the throttle, it's gonna get going. And again, that also has levels up to nine. P3, level nine is gonna be your by far most sensitive. It's gonna be extremely uh, race specific. You definitely wanna use caution when using race mode, especially on level nine. Hit that again, EC is gonna be a little bit more fuel economy based. You wanna use EC if you're looking for uh, fuel efficiency, if you're taking long road trips on the highway. EC will help you save some MPGs, and again, all the way up to nine being the most fuel conservative. That'll actually pull back on acceleration and throttle response. Finally, normal mode, that's gonna be basically stock. If you want it to act as if it's not even plugged in, put it in normal mode, that's NOR, uh, that'll give you a factory-like throttle response. Now, if you have an automatic, you can hold the minus button for three seconds. It'll put it in automatic mode. That way it knows you have an automatic transmission um, and that's gonna be there for you. And then if you hold plus for three seconds, it'll change to manual mode. Just like that. And again, you can change your modes from there. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Speedform throttle controller available for the 08 and newer Challenger. If you're looking to get a device here that's super easy to use, reduces throttle delay, and completely eliminates your drive-by-wire delay, this is a great way to go. Get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.